Hello everybody, I'm Max X, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to install HD player skins. Look at these, aren't those amazing? Now you may not like these particular ones, but there's some other great ones out there as well. Um, now keep in mind this is for single player only, and this is a tutorial to show you how to do it for the Technic launcher, any mods for that, so Tekkit, Technic, Hackslash Mine, Dogbox, whatever, and also for your standard normal Minecraft as well. Now uh, it's only for single player, this is the single player method, however there's another method for multiplayer. I'll show that another day. I got it working for the normal Minecraft, but for TechIt, I haven't quite figured it out yet. So once I figure that out, we'll make a tutorial on that. So the things you'll need to be able to do this are as follows. So you're going to need your favorite texture pack. Anyone will do. You're going to need WinRAR or some sort of zipping program. I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. And of course, you're going to need the HD player skin as well. So this is Von Doom's HD skin here. Let me just open up another, another window. If you choose to use this website, here's what you're going to do to get it. Just scroll down to where it says you have, oh, whoops, Just scroll down to where it says you have to only download the skins. Click on download. That's going to bring you to AdFly. And then from here, you got to wait good old five seconds until the uh, skip ad button pops up. And that's going to bring you to another website with the list of all the actual skins, as you can see here. Check this out. Here is uh, HD Steve. Pretty cool. So if you know, figure out which one you want. Go ahead and click on save and then save it to your desktop or wherever you want to put it. All right, so there we go. We have it saved. And uh, if you're not sure how to do a texture pack, uh, go ahead and figure that out first with another video or something. Get that installed, and then you'll be caught up to where we are now. So with all that said and done, here's what we're going to do. We need to run the game in offline mode. So whether or not you're doing it with normal Minecraft or the Technic launcher, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. First things first, load up the actual game. Sorry, load up the actual launcher. Don't load the game yet. Now, once you have the launcher uh, up, you're going to have to disconnect from the internet. You could rather unplug your cord. You could disconnect your wireless, like, you know, by going here, clicking disconnect. Uh, you could shut off your wireless radio button, whatever. Here's another method that I'll show you just for fun. You could actually right-click on the connection, open Network and Sharing Center, click on Change Adapter Settings, and then disconnect. You right-click and click Disable on any connected, uh, you know, connections. Once you've done that, uh, you could go ahead and make any changes you need to make so like if you need to change the texture pack or whatever make sure you do that beforehand um, and you you know you could also change your RAM or whatever as needed so keep in mind that if you disconnect before you do the launcher it won't actually run the amount of RAM that you set to allocate so that's why it's important that you load the launcher first once you have that go ahead and click log in it's going to recognize that you're not on the internet so it's going to ask you to run in offline mode go ahead and click yes that's going to load up your game in offline mode all right, so once you got your game loaded, go ahead and click on Texture Packs, and once again, it should already be installed, and once again, it doesn't matter which Texture Pack it is at all. Now, make sure that Texture Pack, though, is not selected first. So go ahead and just select your normal default look of Minecraft or whatever, and then click on Open Texture Packs folder. Once you have that, using WinRAR, go ahead and open up that Texture Pack. Now, in your texture pack, you're going to want to make sure that it has the folder called mob. If it doesn't have that folder, and that's M-O-B, if it doesn't have the folder, if you're using WinRAR, all you have to do is right-click and click on create a new folder, and then name that folder mob. So once you're good to go, go ahead and open up the mob folder, and you're going to notice here there is a file called care.png, C-H-A-R.png. So this is the actual file that the HD skin is going to be used as. So by default, this is this fax one. You see here it already has one. Now if you wanted to back up the actual whatever texture comes with the actual texture pack, whatever player skin rather I mean sorry you could just you know drag that to your desktop or wherever put it somewhere else and then uh, here's what we're gonna do to actually get it installed so go to your actual folder where you downloaded the HD skin and I'm gonna show you another one that wasn't on that website because I found that it was pretty neat this one is the spacesuit so what you're gonna do is go ahead and right click on your player skin that you downloaded click rename and name it to care.png, so char.png. Now, if you don't see the .png, it's only because you don't have your extension name shown. All you could do to fix that is click on the left alt key, go to tools, and go to folder options. Then go to the view tab and de-check the hide extensions for known file types. So it's the same way it is on my screen, where there's no checkbox. See? Then click OK, and that'll show you the .png. If it's not if it's not .png, it won't work anyways. So once you've done that, once you've renamed it to care.bng, go ahead and drag it into your actual texture pack in the mob folder. That's going to be good to go. Go ahead and close that up.
and then you could go back to your game and then select the actual texture pack. We're going to give it a second to load. Once it's done, of course, you click done, and once it's all loaded, I'll meet you back. All right, so we're all loaded, so go ahead and click on your single player game and load it up. All right, we're all loaded up. I'm going to press F5. Check that out. Hurrah! And we have it. That is awesome, guys. And, you know, this is great if you want to do, like, a Let's Play uh, on single player by yourself. You could have some real nice HD skins, you know, something to show off, uh, and all that good stuff. So hopefully that was helpful. And before I let you go, I'll go quickly show you the website that you could use to get started for multiplayer or if you just want to browse for additional skins. So let's go ahead and close this up. And also, at this point, you could reconnect to your internet as well. Um, and by the way, you could reconnect while you're playing too. It's no big deal, uh, just as long as you do all the steps first. So if you want, if you did the uh, trick that I did, you would just open your network and sharing center again, click on adapter settings, and then right-click and enable the connection back. Make sure you do that, though. Don't forget to do it. If it's like your parents' computer or something, you're going to piss them off. They won't know what the heck's going on and why your, their internet's not working. So make sure you don't forget about that. And uh, so, yeah, let's go check out that other website. And don't forget, guys, Google is like your best friend. If you want to find more HD textures and stuff, just use Google. There's, there's no better way to do it. So I'm going to go HD Skins. That's how I found it. And it's this website right here, hdminecraftskins.com. And you register for this site. Now, here's the thing, though. When you register, your login name has to be the exact same thing as your in-game name for Minecraft. Okay, so that is important. Let's see if I could even remember the password. No. Well, anyways, this is the website, and I'll add the link in the description. Once you're good here, you could actually uh, browse through home and stuff. You could check out all the stuff, um, you know, and look around. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. I know I love these HD skins, and I'm sure you will, too. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below. Give this uh, video a good old thumbs up, liking if you liked it, and share it with your friends, because I noticed there wasn't very many tutorials online about this. So be sure to share it with your friends, spread the word, and... Click the subscribe button because we'll catch you on the next video. I usually do a daily content. However, I am sorry this past week I put my back out doing some painting jobs and shit for my friends. So I've been on the couch laying down in pain for the last three days. But I'm finally coming around and I'm ready to do some more videos. So hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video. Have yourselves a great day, guys. Once again, this is Magus X, Volatile Gamer. Oh, bye bye